goes into what goes into after the free throw decision that you're constantly working on? What goes into getting that kind of result? Uh, you know, I've been working on it the whole year, and uh, tonight was a good night. I was able to uh, knock all of them down. Uh, you know, I'm trying not to think about it. Because when you start overthinking about it, you start missing. So you, it was just a good night. Hopefully, I can have more of those. Giannis, you're very close to Vaughn, and he hasn't played in five games. What, what do you tell him? What do you talk about? You guys seem like you should on the bench. What do you it, tell him about that? It's, it's hard. Um, you know, Vaughn's a great guy, great teammate. So competitive. He wants to play. Um, he wants to help the team. And, you know, like, whenever I come out and sub me out, he always talks to me. I always uh, try to uh, be positive and uh, give me some tips in the game. And it's, you know, it's hard for me because I want to give back. And, uh, you know, I know that it's even hard for him that he's not able to help the team because so much competitive. He wants to play so much. Um, but at the end of the day, what I can tell him right now is just keep working hard. So working in this crowd, getting better every day, and uh, everything else is going to take care of itself. How dangerous is this team when you're shooting the ball collectively as well as you did from the outside today, 44%, and you're doing what you're doing, you know, as a group inside? You know, this team is really dangerous, um, especially when we move the ball uh, and move our bodies. We won't get a lot of open shots, and you know, when we knock them down, we you know, play like tonight. Uh, especially if we take care of the ball offensively, and uh, we just move it and find one another and trust one another, uh, good things won't happen. You're just coming, you're coming to this game off a, off a win over the team, you're, you're battling with the top of the Eastern Conference, and you're on a road trip. You know, what, where do you guys get the mental energy to kind of bring the amount of focus you did tonight, not just to, to play well, but to kind of kill the game off early? To be honest with you, to be honest with you uh, as a team, I feel like we think about the game less. Uh, we just smile, we just having fun, um, and we know that you know, when the games, when the games start when seven thirty or seven o'clock, we gonna do whatever it takes to win. Um, you know, we don't try to overthink things. Uh, and we just have to have fun, just smile. When you look at that fun factor, when you look around the East, you have Boston, you just kind of talked about having some Walker issues, you have the, the Knicks, uh, the Raptors are kind of not up and down the line. How much of a key or an X factor could that be, the fact that this team seems to get along, have fun, it's light? Yeah, it definitely could be X factor, you know, we, we got to seize the opportunity, and um, we have so far, but we got to keep, you know, stay focused, keep working on our, you know, um, game plan. Uh, all the other teams, they can have issues and troubles. We got to keep doing what we're doing and uh, playing together and playing hard. And I know good things going to happen, not just now and in April, May, and June. Also, speaking, of, speaking of having fun, um, All-Star Weekend's coming up. What did you see from Rob tonight that makes you want to draft Amazing player. On Amazing player. Uh, <laughs> if he's available, I'm definitely going to draft him. What do you like about Brad that you, you want him on your All-Star team? He can make shots, uh, he can make his teammates better. Uh, but I know that when I pass him the ball, he's going to always knock it down. So 